So they cut a hole in the fence to access our property here. We might end up actually putting a gate here for future access. Probably be a smart idea. But look at this. We have just a tremendous amount of, of ivy, all kudzu rather. They basically, well, it's a compact track loader with a brush cutter. What are those, what are those, those things called? And. Uh, He's just going through and just demolishing everything. The question is, what are these humps? And are there any rocks? And all that kind of stuff. But he's just going through and just systematically going to mow it all down. As I'm stepping here, I'm stepping on these really big, thick vines and stumps. So there's definitely stuff in here that a normal lawnmower wouldn't be able to get to. So we definitely could not have done this with uh, our lawnmower. But I think once he gets the initial part of this down, then we'll be able to uh, maintain this with animals and with uh, lawnmower. Eventually we'll have a, a bush hog and a tractor. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna have somebody else with a compact track loader. See like there's holes and there's just various stuff to get, but this probably shouldn't take them very long. The question is, how do we keep it from regrowing and taking over this area and with taking over the canopy of the trees? Because you can see it's all the way up at the top of the trees. Yeah, just look at the size of this, that tree right there. I think this is probably Atlantis. It just knocked it on down. <laughs> Those compact track loaders are awesome. So the other thing that we want to do is clear up this fence line here. He says he has a crew that can come in and do some clearing of the fence line. So we'll hire them to do that. But this will give us about two more acres of usable space for our animals. So definitely worth the investment and the time. I got it jammed up. <laughs> I guess that was inevitable working with all those vines. So got one guy um, lifting it up, the other one clearing it out. He'll back off 
they'll rotate it a little bit. He'll keep clearing it out, trying to be as safe as possible. But uh, they're definitely making some quick work out of this area. Let's go see if we can take a look while they're uh, trying to get that thing unjammed. You can already see it. There's some areas of really big rock. Like these things are square. These were placed here by something. Well, maybe you hit it and just cut it off nice and square. Got the fence line pretty much all tackled and about down to the, where the tree lines start down there. Got some holes there. Man, this stuff is just thick, thick, thick. It'll be really nice to get this. Oh, there you go, it's cleared now. Nope, not yet, still, still clearing. But it'll definitely be nice to get this all leveled out and cleared and then bring some animals through here and get it to uh, become pasture again. Trying to find a way through. I guess I can just kind of hop over here. Look at this. They're still trying to get it unjammed. You can hear them. But I'm going to see if they'll go into the tree lines, get into these little pockets here. Because they'll definitely finish within their, uh, they have a minimum that they charge. I think they'll definitely finish the main part of the field in that minimum. So then I'll have them go into these pockets as much as possible and try to break up some of these vines that are going up into the trees to help reduce the spread of this stuff as much as we can. I get into these little pockets here. If not, then Katie and I are going to be coming back with our weed whacker and our, uh, I always forget the name of it, hedge trimmer and getting a lot of these vines that are like, like this one here where it's just connected to the ground and then it just goes up and it takes over the trees getting those things knocked down and knocked out. But you can see where we are in terms of the property. Right there, that line, that is, that's where the pigs are. The pigs are right inside that line right there, that paddock. Definitely be, be some very usable space. It's gonna be very, very, very nice. <laughs> They're still getting it unstuck. I should probably get out of the way. He's hitting rocks like this. I'm not sure what that does to his machinery. I'm guessing it kind of just bounces over them. Anyway, they're making good progress. Looks like they're ready to kick it off again. So I'm gonna get out of the way. Hi shenanigans, hi shenanigans. You guys have this whole new space. You do, you have this whole new space. Come on, come on, let's go. You're not using your new space. I know. Here. Oh my goodness. Come on shenanigans, come on, over here. Let's do this.
Come on, shenanigans. Come on, there's a whole space for you. Let's do it. Food. Uh, I mean, it's a quarter of the way full, but we could fill it, we could top it up. Oh, nice. Okay. It's halfway, isn't it? Or is it full? full. Okay. Are you on mute? I am. Uh, you, okay. Come on, shenanigans. You guys make things so dirty. You guys, you shenanigans are gross. Hi, shenanigans. Hi there, hello. Welcome. Welcome to your extended run. This one's confused. All right, come on, here's your grit. Let's go. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Yeah. You're going the wrong way. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Good job. So we put these young chicks. How, how old do you think these chicks are, Katie? A month. Okay. Month old chicks in the middle of Evercoop with this automatic door here. They know how to get out of it from the coop into the run, but it's too tall for them to get back into it. At least that's the case last night. So I'm gonna see if I can make a little ramp, figure out a way to just put a ramp up there for them to walk up. I think what I'm gonna do is just take a hinge and put it on like a so. I might do two, just so it's sturdy. I'm gonna take these rusty ones. I've been cleaning out and organizing my tools in the carport. And I came across a bag of hinges that have been sitting in water, so they're all rusty. I'll take those two. The only reason that I'm using a hinge is to easily get the angle without having to measure it and cut a piece of wood to uh, fit with the hinge. I can just make it fit pretty easily. I'm not going to be using it to actually hinge the, um, the ramp, just to get the angle. And it needs to stay below the bottom of the door here because basically the garage door style door needs to be able to close fully. Success. Hi ladies, are you enjoying your ability to free roam, free range for a little bit before winter takes all of your grass? We're letting them free roam, free range right now because they quickly eat up a paddock space. Pretty much all the leaves on the trees have died off. And so we have a little bit of grass left for them to do enjoy before winter comes. So they're just out enjoying their ability to do free range. Uh, if they get into some shenanigan or some troubles, then we put them back in the net, but they've been doing pretty good over the last couple days. So we have some more fixing that we need to do in our new coops. So if you remember our build on these coops, we used uh, branches for the roosting bars. And this one here, 
Okay, well just leave. Like, I'm not holding you in here, just go. This one broke. Not exactly sure how it broke, but it broke. It came off. It broke right there. Probably too much weight on it or something. Don't know. So we're gonna get that fixed. So we're thinking that this one can kind of just pop back into place and we'll just get it uh, a little tighter right here. But uh, do we need to do something different over here? That might need to be zip tied, huh? Yeah. Together. Maybe lo we'll loosen that. We'll zip tie it, tighten it back up. Seriously. Yeah. Well, I wanted it to be tight. It was tight. I wanted it to be tighter. Well, then you broke it. Yes, I did. I need more heavy duty, extra strength mm. zip ties. Come on, what is going on here? I guess, I guess at least it's a perch for it or something for it to rest against. All right, so I think this one we can just tighten. I think it just needs to be zip tied. Zip tied and then I'm gonna tighten it too. Okay. He's not happy. What, are we in your spot? You, sir, are very loud. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna put a second one in. Um, this can probably go away. What was this? Was this to hang something? What is it, babe? I can't see. Oh, it's a screw. This was, yeah, this was the... Um, to hang the... Oh, it was for the light the for light the babies. The light for the littles, yeah. How do you want to put it on? Um, well... Like that? Because they can jump from that to that, right? Oh, they can easily jump from that to that, yeah. Okay. It was the question, can they it. get up to there, though? Well, I was thinking if they, from behind, they could, and this is in front, because it was just to see if they could, because what's happening is they jump up, jump up, jump up, and it's like one, two, three, four, five of them, and then the remaining, there's only three left, then they can't, then they're all like right here. Mm -hmm. So this will at least give it, so there's more options, I guess. I mean, I don't think that's going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, this time we we didn't bring a block of wood to go underneath it like we have the other ones. So this one we screwed in, zip tied. This one is just zip tied. Unlike this where we have a block of wood underneath it and then we pinch them together with a couple screws. So we'll see how it holds up. Ready for the next one? Oh. That one had broke, so that's why we had to zip tie it. So yeah. Hopefully the zip tie, I think the zip ties will work. Good. I got the supplies. So the meat girls actually got all the way up here? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's Three impressive. of them did. That's impressive. I figured we'd put one like right about here. Yeah, a little lower for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be just over the top of that water bar, okay. but then and then just resecure this one. Oh, I see that one snapped. It off just too. snapped. Oh shoot! That's see, there's not a. It's yeah. It just barely, barely had. Yeah, it's just not long enough. Mm -mm. Yeah. The this wood should have been a little bit. I don't know why the wood's so short right there. Yeah, it, I think by the with all of the movement and stuff we did, yeah. it just the wall popped out and it's just not. Okay. So, that's what needs to be done there. Okay. I think just unscrew it, make that wood stick out further so it clamps better. Yep. And then we can use these, cut this if we want to do some sort of TP, right? Mm -hmm. Just give it an extra brace or mm -hmm. if we want to give it an extra brace this way, mm -hmm. either way. Okay. And then we'll make one more lower one. Lower perch added for the meat girls so they don't have to jump up so high. And then we reattached the corners of the ends here a little bit more secure and this girl is not excited that we're in here while she's laying. I also added another nesting box. Oh okay and then 
one more nesting box added down here. Okay, I'm out, girl. I'm out. Now that we're done repairing things, we're going to go check out how the, um, the mowing went on the west side of our property, across beyond those trees there, beyond the paddocks. Yeah, ready? Yep. Okay. So many, those like little dens. Either wallows or dens. Uh, that one is a den. That was a den? Yeah, this one is too. This isn't a wallow, I don't think. Not with all this stuff. Huh. Unless they were trying to root up something. Interesting. Huh. There's a truck right there. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't know where exactly we're going. Oh, right there. Is that the fence line? Uh, the fence is by the barn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Where the kudzu still is. Yeah, I wish he would have come back into here a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. All right. We have a field. <laughs> well, it definitely opened it up quite a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Was there any trees he took down or was it all just kudzu? It was just all kudzu. Oh, wow. I mean, I guess there was one tree I saw him take down a, a big old, well, maybe I'm size of lanthus and there's mm -hmm. a, looks like there's a start of a, a cedar or a, a cedar. pine yeah. right here. Walk. Oh, the, the gate's way up there? Yeah, that's where the gate is. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because that was at a corner. That was the best place to put a, put a gate. I see. You needed know, the wooden posts. Oh. Uh, because these are all, all of this is just... Barbed wire? Uh, barbed wire and T-posts. Hmm. We'll have to ask our neighbors to use their <laughs> driveway to come up to this area if we ever need to. Yeah. But I envision it like if our animals escape again, you know, easier. using it to... Get come them back, back and get them in that way instead of trying to lift them over the fence or under the fence. Yeah. Yeah, you got into that little pocket over there. Hard to see with the camera. Went behind the, the trees. Go check that out. It's just so bright now. Yeah. Oh, there's a big old rock thing here. Yeah. Hang on, I'll be right back. I want to just see over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got back here pretty good, honey. Oh, good. We're gonna have to come in with hedge trimmer and weed whacker and lawnmower. Try to get some of this extra stuff here. Oh wow, look at this grapevine root. Or maybe that's a kudzu root. That thing is ginormous. Definitely have to cut that. That'll probably help out quite a bit. Yeah, big old outcrop or rock crop. Yeah, rock, big outcrop. rock formation. Big, big rock. Yeah, and it goes all the way up. Big rock, wow. big, big rock. All the way up here. <laughs> Mangled a big old root. Looks like that was going to be a cedar. Yeah, that rock is all. It's big. Yeah, it's a big. And then there's a, there's another one right there, not as big. Another rock there. And then there's these rocks too. It looks like he hit it pretty hard. Yeah. It's, it's all shattered. This one got split clean in half. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be nice to take down Basically, just take all these trees that have the hanging yep. kudzu still on them and just completely just mulch them. Even this big one right here? Yeah, it's pretty dead. Yeah. These these two trees that are right beside you, they oh, remind yeah, these, me of the African safari. These. 
these giant um, pine trees where there's one giant pine tree and the skinny one next to it. Yeah, it's just, huge. Just the way they're like, look how beautiful, like that is some amazing wood. Look how straight that is. Yeah. Yeah. From. Yeah. Basically from. That's like 50. From there down. Let's see. 10. And it's thick That's like too. at least 30, 40 foot of solid straight wood. It's, uh, I couldn't wrap my arms around this. It's, it's big. That's a big tree.